And I was thinking about something. I heard uh, Bishop Jake say something tonight, and I think I got something to say tonight. Can't uh, really hide it or hang it on a particular passage of Scripture, but I do uh, have something uh, to say. If I was to give tonight's show a title, I would call it, There's Life After Crushing. There's Life After Crushing. I don't know if any of you in the viewing audience know what it is to be crushed, but I'm trying to bring one message on tonight that there is life after the crushing. I heard Bishop Jake say this morning, he said something very significant. I just grabbed one line out of what he said and I ran with it. He said that not all crushings come from the enemy. That was so powerful for me because if any of us get crushed, we feel like the devil did it. The devil did it. The enemy's on my trail. But some crushings might not be from the enemy. Uh, I, I, first of all, let's define what crushing is. Crushing is uh, an adjective, and this is what the lexicographers define crushing as. Uh, the lexicographer defines crushing as causing overwhelming disappointment or embarrassment, such as the news came as a crushing blow. So when I talk about a crushing, I'm not talking about that little trouble you've been in. I'm not talking about that little spot that you found out that you were in. I don't, I'm not talking about the little, with the time when your foot almost slipped. <laughs> but I'm talking about if we're going by what this says, a crushing, a crushing means causing overwhelming disappointment or embarrassment, that which would be, we call, devastating. Now, that's crushing as an adjective, and I'm talking about tonight that there's life after crushing. So my message to you is to not glorify the time that you were crushed. However, I want to tell you that there's life after crushing. But the word crush, uh, uh, as a verb, means to press to squeeze with a force that destroys or deforms. Folks, we've been in some fixes. We've been in some tight spots. We've been in some horrible places that have crushed us or, def or deformed us. And I'm bringing a message tonight. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, somehow tonight I'm going to get a word to you about there's life after crushing to tell you that uh, and maybe try my best on tonight to turn some of your pressures into power. Preach, Steve. Uh, I, 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 m most of us, uh, uh, you know, much as the crushing of grapes, I wrote this morning, I wrote this afternoon, much as the crushing of grapes makes the finest wines, some of us have been made by our crushings. Some have mistakenly taken my crushing for my breaking, but it was truly for the making of me. Yes, my brother and sister, my crushing was so serious and so severe that it has led uh, me to keep my head when some of you all come out of the bag on me. I have been at disappointment's door, and I've been at the breezeway of embarrassment enough times that it has made me tougher. Yes, the crushing hurts. But it taught me that God is a keeper in any and all situations. God has shown me through crushings that not only can I live through them, preach, Steve, I am tonight, uh, but I can grow by them. Uh, I've, I've had those days where you feel lower than a tadpole. I don't know if I ever got that from Jeff Bodine or Jed Clappett, one of the two. But lower than a tadpole, so I know that's got to be pretty low. Life can send crushings your way that can humble you in so many ways. Uh, um, uh, 
life has bruised, listen to this, squashed, mashed, broke, trampled, beat, crumbled, squeezed, demolished, annihilated, wrecked, suppressed, ruined, overpowered, overwhelmed, and defeated, quelled, squelched, and kill so many of our hopes and dreams. I know you thought that would never be over. So the question is, can you come back from a crushing? That's the question of the hour. The question of the hour is, can you come back from a crushing? Well, the gentleman from Tennessee with the big old eyes, and that would be me, <laughs> uh, I can tell, I can boldly tell you with an emphatic yes. I can tell you that you won't come back from a crushing overnight, but you can come back from a crushing. The Bible's full from cover to cover, from the start to the finish, with stories of those who've overcome crushings, embarrassments, disappointments, severe tests, and trials. I'm here to tell you that our crushings can teach you valuable lessons. Uh, you know, I know as a race of people, oftentimes, you know, those of us of the darker hue, you know, we we go by this stuff that we we're we're somehow working on the curse of this, a curse on this, and I'm coming to tell you that most of the time we're not cushed, we're crushed. We we're still dealing with something from our past where we uh, experienced a devastating blow where we dealt with a disappointment. We got a bad hand dealt. We were misdealed. Preach, Steve. I'm, I got it tonight. Or, or we were embarrassed in some way that it still permeates to the depths of our soul. I say I wrote this evening that some crushings will bring you to your very knees. And, and oftentimes, you know, because I, I won't tell you that every crushing is a bad thing. Some crushings will bring you to your knees, and that's where your blessing is. Child of God, I'm telling you that it's a life, there's life after a crushing. I'm talking to some of those of you that perhaps you've been crushed. They saw you, the, you they ever Everybody saw them take your car. Some of them saw you, saw them take your house. Some of them saw them take your boo. The man across the street took your boo. Uh, or, or even worse, in 2019, hold your horses. That woman took your boo. I, I, I know we're living in a different day. We're different, living in a different age. We're living in a different times. But, but a severe crushing, it's painful. I, I mean, a, a crushing can uh, uh, mess with your your mental reserves. It'll test your mental acumen. It'll 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 test your intestine. To know fortitude, or I think some call it hutzpah. Hey, you're gonna need all of that after a severe crushing. I, I mean, but but the Bible says this. I told you that crushing. I didn't tell you, but I'm telling you now that a crushing can humble you. But the scriptures declare, let the humble be exalted. Child of God, I'm talking from the depths of my soul on tonight. Because I got folks every now and then that they come out of their own little special bag with some he say, she say, with some I heard or, or, or throwing shade. But they don't know that they're dealing with a guy that has dealt with some severe crutchings. I'm telling you that when God put together the broken pieces of my life. Preach, Steve. I'm not talking as a second hand. I'm giving you first hand knowledge. I'm not giving you a logos word on tonight. This is a rhema word. I'm talking about that thing where everybody, you were the talk of every, off everybody's lips. You were the talk of the town. Did you hear what happened to Steve? Did you hear what happened? Did you hear what happened? Did you hear what happened? Did you see what happened? But I'm telling you that, that a, a severe crushing will teach you so many lessons. 
One of the things is it tells you to start from scratch, uh, how to put the building blocks and build the life back. You're not bouncing back from a severe crushing overnight. It takes time to bounce back from a crushing, a uh, severe crushing overnight. But what I can tell you is, is it's a powerful thing when God gives you the strength to come back from a severe crushing. You start looking at some of this stuff that people come out of the bag with with the he say she say and the I heard and they say and all the silly little games that people play and you said man I'm a veteran of a crushing and I'm not telling you that I've been crushed once I, I, I've got multiple I got experience in being crushed but the value of the thing that happens after the same God that delivered me after my crushing can do the same thing for you, my brother. He can do the same thing for you, my sister, that God can take the broken pieces of our lives. The scriptures declare that he can give us beauty for ashes. Child of God, there's life after a crushing. I, I know you, you, you say, oh, Smith's coming really out of the bag on tonight, but I've been at that point where that word means an overwhelming disappointment. When your disappointments go public, uh, when your embarrassment becomes the talk of the day, and then you got to deal with a crushing but I've been there. I've, I've, I've seen and been through a crushing, and, and God didn't put my life back overnight. He Not only did he bring me through a crushing, but he let me have to deal daily with, cru with crushing talk. Preach, Steve. I, I didn't even hear that. Because once you've been crushed, then you become the order of the day uh, in the crushing news. Uh, but but I, boy, boy, I tell you that there's a way to know that God's a healer and a deliverer. And I've seen the hand of God sustain. Preach, Steve. I've seen the hand of God deliver. I've seen the hand of God set free. So I'm telling you boldly, I'm looking you between your eyes, whether it be uh, in Little Rock or Memphis or, or in Orange, uh, somewhere in Orange Mound, or out in Frazier, out in Raleigh, somewhere in Mississippi. I'm looking at you, or if you're in another country on the Facebook uh, or the YouTube, uh, I'm telling you that there's life after crushing. Folks, I, 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 I guess a severe crushing, it does teach you lessons. A severe crushing uh, gives you uh, motivation that you never had before. It teaches you how to get up out of the bed early because I don't want to be crushed again. My crushings have taught me lessons. My crushings are my postgraduate degree. My crushing sometimes it represents both my master's and my doctorate's degree because they have taught me valuable lessons about how not to be crushed that way again, how to be motivated to prevent crushings, and to let me know as the man of my particular house, and everybody else in my house is a woman, that I got to be the one that gets crushed. And it's my job, it's my duty as a man and the husband or the man that bans that house or the head of that household to keep the ladies that live with me from being crushed. Child of God, I felt that in my own Oh, shy. That's what the old saints used to say when they first got in the old prayer meetings all across Memphis. You know, these big prayer meetings, Mother Bracey and all the other prayer meetings that were all over Memphis. They said, I felt that in my own shy. But folks, I'm speaking a word to you because so many of us are dealing with crushings. You, the way you look on the outside has nothing to do with whether you've been crushed before. The scriptures declare that man Look at after the outward appearance. But God can see on in the heart where you're still dealing with the crushing. I know people that are in their 60s and 70s and they're still dealing with a crushing from childhood. I spoke with a lady that had a painful experience at school and that experience had to be from the late 40s or the early 50s in elementary school. Now that's a long time, but it brought a 2019 tear down. 
Child of God, I'm asking for the healing virtue of our Heavenly Father to touch all of those all over and to amplify my voice, to make my voice be a rhema word for folks that are dealing with a crushing. You've been embarrassed. You've been humiliated. You've been made to feel lower than low, but I'm telling you and giving you a rhema word on tonight that there is life after a crushing. Child of God, uh, this is your wake-up call. The crushing you thought that your crushing was for the breaking of you, but your crushing literally was for the making of you. Child of God, I'm, touching, I'm ready to go on the mountaintop and tell you that your crushing that you thought was going to take you under, child of God, that that same crushing can be the wind uh, behind you that pushes you over. Child of God, there's life after a crushing. Yes, I've been there. Yes, I wore the shoes. I wore the shirt. I sat in the crushed sea. But folks, it's my, you got to make a firm decision that although I'm in this crushing place, I got to find a way to turn this crushing and I move on by beyond this crushing. You can't get grapes until they're crushed. You know, the crushing of grapes produces, you can't get wine. You get wine from it. And folks, some of us in our crushing experiences that we're better because of what we've been through. Romans 8, 28 says, and for now we know that all things work together for the good of them who love God, for them who are the called according to our pur to his purpose. Genesis chapter 50, uh, uh, it says that what you meant it for, evil, but God meant it for good. Folks, I'm telling you that the devil will hit you with everything with a kitchen sink because he wants this crushing to take you down. But this crushing is literally going to be your elevation. Child of God, listen to a crushing veteran. I got some time in. I've been on this team for a while. I've been literally crushed crushed uh, in front of in front of everybody. Crushed where everybody saw your demise. Crushed. Uh, thank you, Panito, on Facebook. You my brother, man. Love you, brother. Thank you, Vince. Crushed. Uh, 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 going, been going through this. Crushed. And they saw this happen to you. Crushed. And, and you know, I, I, uh, people don't remember your high moments. You always got that one person that wants to lay in the cut. Uh, Steve, you, I got one guy, he always says, Steve, you remember the time you did this? Steve, you remember the time you did this? And I'm like, dude, who, dude, we 50 some years old. Why you keep bringing up stuff from childhood? But there are people that want to leave you in your crushed place. And guess when they start having problems with you, folks? When you don't want to stay in the place of crushing. Folks, child of God, there's life after the crushed place. I know that y'all saw me in the crushed place. I know y'all want me to stay in the crushed place, but I'm big enough. Uh, uh, the Bible says in Micah 7 and 8, it says, rejoice not against me, O mine enemy, though I fall, I shall arise. Folks, you're going to need some holy boldness to come out of the crushed place. Yes, the crushed place was my zip code. Yes, the crushed place was my address. Yes, the crushed place was where you could get me. The crushed place was my my, my was was my my uh, uh, my uh, email address. But child of God, those days are over. We're on the cusp of 2020. The God is calling you out of the crushed place. I've been now, Ron, I, be, I know you've been there, but 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 it's a wonderful thing when God brings you out of the crush place. It's a wonderful thing when everybody who had counted you out, and I heard y'all counting, and you counted out 10, 9, they, they got, you got to the 8 count, you got to the 9 count, and somewhere between 9 and 10, God came through and brought you out of that crush place. Child of God, there is life after the crushed place, God didn't call you to live in, in disappointment. God didn't call you to live at embarrassment's door. The Bible says, beloved, in, uh, uh, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospered. Yes, I've been crushed. Uh, and that's why when you all come with this little petty stuff at me, man, I'm a veteran of severe crushings. You can't come with this he say, she say. 
I'm not eight anymore. I'm not on the seesaw. I'm not on the slide. Child of God, I'm telling you that there's life after the crushing. You, you know, I think they think that you're still in elementary school, folks. I think that they think that you're still somewhere playing romper room. But I've been in life long enough, and I've been in enough messes, enough crushings, enough severe crushing. And I got a home team that I got to fight to keep them from crushing door. I'll fight, uh, I'll fight a bulldog for those folks at my house. I'll fight them more. Morning, noon, and night because I want to keep my wife from ever worrying about a crushing. I want to keep my daughter who, who's fighting a fight herself and keep her away from a harsh crushing. Child of God, I'm talking all over the, the South right now. I don't care where this is going, that there's life after the crushing. You had the embarrassment. You had the disappointment. You had what the enemy thought was a crushing blow, but that crushing taught you, uh, that crushing, again, wasn't meant to take you under. God's going to use the very thing that once crushed you to take you over. Child of God, there's life after crushing. You don't stay in crushing's place. Yes, you were crushed. Everybody saw you were crushed. They talk about it at the family reunion. Two days from now, at the thanks of giving, they're going to be whispering, do you hear, did you hear, did you hear? But you walk with your head high, held high. Uh, uh, you know, you walk and you stop walking with your head down. God is the lifter of our heads. Child of God, I got, I killed the devil on tonight because the enemy wants to start. This is the tie in. The enemy wants to take you from your memory of your crushes to start all of this holiday blues stuff. He's ready to start messing with you about the holiday blues that may be my show next week. But I'm telling you, we're going to bind that right now. Enemy, you will not torment us anymore. We know now that there's life after the crushing. You, uh, somebody, you need to call the funeral home and tell them the body ain't coming. Child of God, I'm speaking a word to you. Got my own self happy on tonight. Of course, that doesn't take much. But I'm speaking a word to you that there's life after the crushing. The crushing. You went through it. The crushing, you learned lessons from it. The crushing, if it taught you nothing else, it taught you that God can keep you. Uh, I think that song a couple years, that was about 20 years ago when they said, he's a keeper. And then the chorus said, oh, yes, he is. Child of God, when you come out your bag on me, I've been through crushing. I've seen crushing. I've been crushed, but I found out that God can keep me through the crushing. I found out that God can make a way out of no way. I found out that God can prepare a table before me in the presence of all y'all that were sitting at my crushings. Some of y'all had front row seats. Some of y'all had VIP tickets, but child of God, God's about to turn that thing around. Not only for me, for you. There's no secret to what God can do. What he's done for me, he can do for you too. Child of God, my word that I want to send your way on tonight that there's life after the crushing. Lord, we come boldly before your throne of grace. We ask that you touch my brother, touch my sister. We bind the enemy. We bind anything that's not like you on tonight. Lord, we ask for deliverance from the crushing. Let them know that there's life after the crushing. Give them life. Give them vitality. Give them hope. Give them vigor. And Lord, bless them with prosperity and favor in the matchless name of your son, Jesus. Amen. I'll see you on next week. Be blessed. God bless.